After much anticipation, the makers have finally unveiled the release date of the highly awaited movie, Merry Christmas, starring Katrina Kef and Vijay Sethupathi. Directed by the talented Sriram Raghavan, this upcoming bilingual film is set to hit the screens in Hindi and Tamil on December 15, 2023. Additionally, the team has released two enticing posters of the movie. While December is still some time away, let's explore what we know so far about Merry Christmas and why you should be eagerly looking forward to it. But before we delve into the details, show us some love by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more such Indian cinematic delights. Drawing Inspiration In 2019, rumors fell around that the director Sriram Raghavan is adapting a 1961 novel by Frederick Dard called Bird in a Cage into a Film. For those who crave even more, you'll be delighted to know that this intriguing novel can also be found on Amazon Kindle. Bird in a Cage's plot revolves around 30-year-old Albert, who returns to Paris after staying away for six years, during which his mother passes away. He finds himself mixed up in a complicated case centered on a woman who he meets at a restaurant whose husband's dead body appears in her house, but mysteriously disappears. Isn't this sound already exciting? This isn't Sriram's first time adapting a novel. Remember his first revenge crime thriller movie, Ek Hasina T? It drew elements from Sidney Sheldon's crime thriller, If Tomorrow Comes. His next crime noir, Johnny Godard, was an adaptation of a 1963 French movie. Bad La Pour was based on the novel Death's Dark Abyss. And of course, the critically acclaimed masterpiece and Hadhun was skillfully adapted from the French short film The Piano Tuner. But here's the sizzling twist. Sriram and his co-writer Pooja Surti never merely copy the whole story for their adaptations. They always add their unique touch of improvisation, making their work stand out. The best example of this can be seen in Andhad Hun. As we mentioned earlier, the movie was adapted from the French short film The Piano Tuner. In the original film, it ended on a suspenseful cliffhanger, with our main character held at gunpoint after accidentally arriving at a murder scene. The murderer, unsure whether the main character is really blind or faking it, hesitates to pull the trigger. Now, here's where Sriram's brilliance shines through. In Andhadhun, he skillfully continued the story from that point onward, adding multiple twists and turns that made Andhadhun a completely unique masterpiece, distinct from its adaptation. And that's precisely why we're bubbling with excitement, because the story of Bird in a Cage is completely a nail-biting thriller, laden with suspense and mystery. We eagerly awaiting how Pooja and Sriram will weave this captivating story into a cinematic spectacle. Unique and offbeat pair of Katrina Kef and Vijay Sethupathi, Sriram capture everyone's interest with the unconventional pairing of Katrina Kef and Vijay Sethupathi in Merry Christmas. During one interview, the director said, when you see the film, you'll know. The story is such that I just needed a very offbeat pairing or casting, and I was trying various combinations and permutations, and I happened to meet Vijay at a festival in Melbourne, and I'd seen some of his films. I just felt, what if I do this odd combination? And it has got its curiosity value, I hope. Sriram also added that both the leads have very interesting characters to play, and one of the main reasons to cast them together was that they haven't been seen with each other on the screen yet. Now let's take a delightful stroll down memory lane, shall we? How could we ever forget the electrifying and jaw-dropping performance of Varun Dewan in Bad Lapur, a complete departure from his usual chocolate boy roles? Back then, no one could have imagined that he had such intense acting prowess hidden within him. But boy, did he prove everyone wrong with his outstanding and intense performance. It was a revelation, a true turning point in his career. And who could ever erase from their minds the sheer brilliance of Ayushman Kurana in Andhadhun? That casting choice was a true stroke of genius, defying all expectations and leaving us in absolute awe. It was the first time Ayushman took on such a serious and challenging role, and he completely owned it. We can't overlook the fact that he even learned to play the piano for that character. Now that's dedication. And how about the charismatic Saif Ali Khan's unforgettable portrayal of a villain in Ek Hasina T? It was a refreshing and daring move for him to take on such a negative role. 
and he absolutely nailed it with his powerful performance. Indeed, it's the maestro director who has a remarkable gift for empowering actors to break through boundaries and deliver performances that linger in our hearts and minds. So if any doubts ever dare to assail your thoughts about Sriram's casting choices, fret not, trust the master, for he knows exactly how to craft an actor and elicit the finest performances. Two versions of the films. In a recent interview, Sriram disclosed, it's not just one film, but two. We have a Hindi version featuring Vijay Sethupathi and Katrina Kef, along with one child and a few other characters. Additionally, there's a Tamil version with the same Vijay Sethupathi, Katrina, and the child, but different actors for the other roles. He further explained, They are broadly the same, 95% they are the same, but of course, language changes, and some characters also I wanted to change so that it doesn't look like a dubbed film. Raghavan added, I am a Tamilian myself, so this is one chance, so let me also try to make a Tamil film, so this is two in one kind of film. Sriram also said, We saw a fantastic opportunity to create two versions, considering Vijay's acclaim as a South Indian actor. In the Hindi version, we'll see Sanjay Kapoor, Vinay Pathak, Pradama Kanan, and Tinu Anand as co-stars. Meanwhile, in the Tamil version, we can expect Radhika Sarathkumar, Shanmugaraja, Kevin J. Babu, and Rajesh Williams playing the same roles. Moreover, Ashwini Kalsakar and Radhika Apte will be making special cameos in both versions. Now, this concept has been explored before in films like Mani Ratnam's Ravan and Ravanan. However, with Sriram attempting this for the first time, we're eagerly curious about whether the story and ending in both versions will be identical or distinct. Knowing Sriram's inclination for unique and ambiguous endings, the anticipation is through the roof. We simply can't wait to find out. First look. The recently unveiled posters of Merry Christmas exude a captivating vintage vibe. Both Katrina and Vijay are portrayed with a slightly serious mood, adding intrigue to the visuals. The posters feature a taxi and a quote that reads, Rat Jitni Sangin Hogi, Subha Utni Rangin Hogi, which translates to, the more serious the night, the more colorful will be the morning. This hints that the entire film's narrative might unfold in one night, specifically on Christmas Eve. Interestingly, the novel Bird in a Cage, which serves as the film's source of inspiration, also takes place on Christmas Eve. A mysterious figure was visible on the streets, carrying a soft toy, presumably Vijay Sethupathi's character, holding the child's toy belonging to Katrina Kef's character. The most intriguing detail that many on the internet missed is the small icon of a bird breaking free from a cage in Hindi version poster and bird in a cage in Tamil version poster. This serves as a nod to the novel Bird in a Cage, signifying the essence of the adaptation. The anticipation is growing and we eagerly await the release of the film's first teaser, likely release online in November, a month prior to the movie's release. Until then, we'll have to exercise patience. And that concludes today's video, folks. If we missed any crucial details from the posters, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the video. Stay tuned for more exciting updates. See you. I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Okay, I'm going by. Oh.